Paper Mario is finally embarking on his newest adventure in Origami King. The games have come a long way, and I guess that phrase in general immediately divides a fanbase. But in this long, grueling journey that our paper compadre has embarked on, there's been plenty of things I've always wondered about. Questions we absolutely need answers to in order to move on with our lives. And during this time of reflection, there was one question that came to mind. Can you take a shower with Bowser in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door? Yeah, that sounds a lot more risque than it's supposed to, but the world needs to know. So grab your 4 one shampoo, lather up, and get ready for another bizarre adventure into the Thousand Year Door. As I mentioned in a previous video, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door did an excellent job of independently advancing the stories of Mario, Peach, and Bowser as the game progressed. Honestly, it was one of my favorite parts about the game. Once Mario and his squad erase Hooktail from existence, the chapter ends, and we gain access to some of the first scenes in which we're able to play as the other characters. Bowser finds himself on a never-ending hunt to find Mario, and Peach finds herself locked up in a moon base. It's weird though, because at this point, the game forces Princess Peach to basically take a shower in order for the game to progress. We can see by the swapping cameras that the creeper cam is following us and that we're essentially being watched. So yeah, that's a red flag. But equally as creepy is the open shower that is literally in front of the door with no covering on that side. Regardless, Peach jumps in the shower, hums a tune, and we come out squeaky clean. The scene carries on as Peach shrugs off the stalker vibes and explains love the tech. But let's rewind a bit. Because as weird and totally unnecessary as that shower scene randomly was, it instantly piqued my curiosity. For a majority of the game, we only get to be Princess Peach in this area. It isn't until the end of the game where Mario finally makes his way to the moon and is able to access these rooms. And when we do access these rooms, we find ourselves in a situation where we can't do anything except battle an enemy in the room. Mario can't shower here, so Mario is sad. But what if we were to visit this area early? And even more interesting, what if we're able to do so with Bowser? Let's find out. And so begins our quest to try to fit Big Big Bowser into this small tub. So when it comes down to it, we're really focused on two specific rooms within the moon base. The shower room and the room beside it. Each has different loading zones that could possibly be helpful since we're trying to fudge things. So while we're playing as Bowser, we're going to first go ahead and load the shower room, instantly teleporting us there. Bowser appears in the center of the room, actually inside the tub. That's it folks, mission complete, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. If only it were that simple. Getting Bowser to the shower's location isn't the true goal. Bowser's got to get wet for the sake of science, but there's some major problems that we're already dealing with. For starters, despite the event for Princess Peach not having taken place yet in the game, this room loads as if it's already passed, so an enemy spawns in here instead. Since we're clipping through the tub, the enemy can't get to us. So I did what any rational Koopa would do if caught in the shower by an intruder. I ran for the door in fear. No one even left me out a towel. Unfortunately, passing through the door to exit this room actually transforms Bowser back into Peach. And as Peach, if we head back inside, well, everything returns to normal. Bummer. So I loaded back up Bowser, smashed the baddie as Mario, and then frantically tried my best to force Bowser into the tub. But with no towel or action command prompting me, it was a lost cause. But alas, our quest isn't over yet. So each map in the game generally has a few entrances assigned to it. Trying to load a map with an improper entrance basically caused our character to spawn near the center of the map. This is how Bowser appeared inside the tub when we warped here. But this time we're going to try loading in the room from the door without the transition from the previous room taking place, which would make us Peach. And lo and behold, what? No, I, I just want to shower, is that too much to ask? But this isn't over. Sneaky Bowser has loaded into Tech's room and he's splinter selling his way back through the moon base. Oh hey, well, that's weird. What are you doing back there? Anyways, we make our way back, only to become Peach again. Why does the universe hate me? Peach, literally get out of here. It's Bowser's turn in the bathroom. Make your way back to Rogue Port and, I don't know, jump in the river or something. Interesting enough, that crashes the game. So does warping out the shower and terminal montaging Lord Crump. It's glorious, but it doesn't let Bowser bathe in peace. Even attempting to go into the changing room leaves us with a similar situation. The room is vacant, and we can't use any of the areas to transform. The shower curse is everywhere. Back in the showering room, regardless of what we try, Bowser causes the game to not load the correct scene when entering the room, thus banning us from ever showering. I imagine if we somehow did get the event to trigger, it'd probably involve Bowser chilling in the tub as usual as he climbs out of his pink dress. Either that, or the game would just crash instantly. So unfortunately, today the universe has won and prevented us from reaching our goal. But someday when Bowser's shower percent becomes an official speedrun category, perhaps someone, somewhere, will find an answer. And with that, thanks for watching guys and gals, and until my next video, cheers.